Hello, it's your friend Phil here, Project Management Trainer and Coach. Have you ever been in a company where you made the grand mistake of sharing your dream or vision or aspiration with someone else? Well, I was a victim of that, or should I say I fell victim to that, in that I shared an idea that I had way back when about training people and helping them and equipping them to be successful in Microsoft project and project management and I made the mistake of showing this to a boss and the boss said what kind of nonsense is this what kind of rubbish this is a joke and pretty much laughed at the website that I showed him and shut it down this was way before I knew I would be a full-time trainer and coach but lo and behold as the economy tanked that dream I had to train people to equip them to help them become better project managers, it started becoming a reality. And in 2008, when the economy started shutting down and people were let go in my firm, lo and behold, that dream to train and help people in project management became a reality overnight. So much for the words of negativity that were spoken. If I was the kind of person who would take things seriously, coming from a boss, I would have shut that idea down, never looked at it again. But you have dream killers all over the place. You have people who will water your dream. You also have people who will shut your dream down. And you need to know, who should I share my dream with? Because everywhere you look around you, you'll be sure to find some dream killers. If you come across a dream killer, you got to go refuel. you got to go rewater that dream so that it doesn't die. And in due season, that dream could very well become a reality if you do what you need to do.